this is the Holy Family. Sometimes when you see something like this, it is not for children to touch. It might break easily. So you need to ask before you touch it or work with it. This Holy Family is for you. It is for you to touch and to work with. You don't need to ask to work with it. This is the Christ child. He is holding out his arms to give you a hug. Here is the Mother Mary. Here is the Father Joseph. Here is the donkey that Mary rode when she and Joseph went to Bethlehem to be counted by the Roman soldiers. Mary was about to have a baby, so it was hard for her to walk. Sometimes she rode on the donkey. It is also hard to ride on a donkey when you're about to have a baby. So sometimes she got down and walked. Here is the cow, is the cow that was in the stable when the baby was born. She was surprised to find a baby in the feed box, the manger, where she usually found her breakfast. Here is the shepherd who saw the great light in the sky that night. There were more shepherds than this, but we will put down one to remind us. And here, is one of his sheep. There were many more, but these will do to help us remember. When they saw the light in the darkness, they were afraid. I would be too. Then they heard singing. That scared them until they heard the words. The angels sang about peace on earth and goodwill to all people. The shepherds were told to go to Bethlehem, and they did. Here are the three kings, the wise ones. They were so wise that people thought they were magic. In fact, we get the word magic from the name they were called in their own language, the magi. Of all the things they knew, they knew the most about the stars. One day they saw a wild star they knew where each star was supposed to be in the sky, but this star was new and it moved. This star was not on their maps of the sky, so when it moved, they were curious and they followed it. It led them to the place where the Christ child was. The Magi brought with them gifts for the Christ child, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Here is the little baby reaching out to give you a hug. He grew up to be a man and died on the cross for us. That is very sad, but it is also wonderful in an Easter kind of way. Now he can reach out and give the whole world a hug, not in just back then time, or in this place or in that, but he is everywhere and in every time. This is the Holy Family. You can work with it anytime you want when you're here because it is for you. Now, I wonder what part of the Holy Family do you like best? What part of the Holy Family is the most important? I wonder if you have ever seen any of the Holy Family in church. 
I wonder if there is any of the Holy Family that we can leave out and still have all that we need.